Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Superior and today I am beyond pleased to bring you guys my very first nuclear gameplay on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, this is actually like my fourth or fifth nuclear that I've ever gotten in this game, but it is my first nuclear on my So Superior PlayStation account on uh, the first one that I've actually recorded. I got about, uh, I think it was three, maybe four nuclears when we were doing the race to Master Prestige on live stream, but I don't want to go through like seven days of live stream footage just to find those nuclear gameplays because uh, obviously if I had to sit down for literally a week straight and watch every single game uh, in order to find the gameplays where I got nuclears that really wouldn't be worth it so as far as you guys are, are concerned and as far as my YouTube channel goes this is my very first like official nuclear that I'm bringing you to this guy or to you guys and uh, the funny thing about it is there's actually a few funny things about it so the funny thing about it is there's a few funny things about it that was pretty stupid but um, it's extremely boring because the first half of the domination game uh, there was literally one kid on the other team and we literally just fucked him in his ass he was literally like 0 and 40 uh, he was the best enemy you could possibly play against like he didn't shoot at you this kid didn't even look at you this kid was as bad as Call of Duty players can get if I could get one thing for my birthday it would be to match six kids this bad and have them all be on the other team so I could just run around the map uh, and just get like eight nuclears in one game. I think that'd be the most fun thing ever. This kid was absolutely awful at the game. And um, obviously this gameplay wouldn't have been possible without him. So shout out to him. He's a freaking legend. Another thing that I found interesting about this is this was right after I prestige. I think I was only like 10 or, or level 10 or 11 uh, first prestige in this gameplay. Uh, which means I was going for challenges. You know what I mean? I wanted to rank up fast. I wanted to get all my kill streaks back. I ended up bringing the hater through prestige. So I think that's another huge reason I got this gameplay uh, was because of the hater. And but we'll talk a little bit more about kill streaks here in a second. Uh, but I didn't have a single attachment on my VMP. I was going for gold camo, and all I needed was 50 kills with no attachments on the gun. And I ended up getting it in this gameplay. Uh, but there wasn't a single attachment on the gun, which made it a lot more difficult because obviously the VMP's got a pretty, you know, a decent amount of recoil without grip on it. I didn't have suppressor on it, no quick draw extended mags, no rapid fire or anything like that. And obviously, you know, attachments are a good thing and only help you play better. So the fact that I didn't have any attachments on it, uh, I think makes it pretty impressive that I was able to get this nuclear. You know what I mean? So that, that's pretty cool. Also, the kill streak setup I was running was extremely weird. I was running the UAV with the Talon and the Hater. And let me tell you, if you're ever trying to get a nuclear, do not run lethal kill streaks. Having the Talon on uh, probably sold about five of my kills, and I could have got the nuclear five kills earlier. Uh, which would have been way, way easier, and I'd rather put on counter UAV or even care package to give me a small chance of getting a counter UAV or something even better like the hater or any other kill streak. So the UAV, great for getting nuclears, talent, fucking awful, and the hater is amazing because obviously it shows you where everyone is and it's just a constant, um, you know, radar on your map. So that's extremely helpful. So uh, this is also a 49 gun streak. So not only is it a nuclear, it's almost like. A long enough gun streak to get two nuclears in one life. It was a 49 kills with my gun in a row without dying. Sadly, I died at literally the last second of the game. Like, we had 199 points on the scoreboard. And then one of the enemies killed me, which I guess it's fair. You know, if I kill you 49 times in a row and then you kill me once, you know, I'll take that 10 times out of 10. That's amazing. You know, you're not going to hear me complaining about that ever, so... Uh, another thing that I noticed was the unstoppable medals. You literally get a ridiculous amount of XP for each unstoppable medal you get. And what an unstoppable medal is, is each kill uh, above 30 or a 30 gun streak is an unstoppable. So you literally get, I think it's nearly 2,000 XP per kill per unstoppable medal. So that's absolutely ridiculous. If you want to rank up fast, definitely run UAV, counter UAV, uh, and hater, and then just try and get nuclears because you can literally get almost 2,000 XP per kill after um you know you get your nuclear of course so i do hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys could do me a huge favor click the thumbs up button and most importantly drop a comment down below letting me know if you guys have gotten any nuclears if you have gotten nuclears you know how many have you gotten thank you so much for watching this video if you are new to the channel don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button i love you all catch you guys in more videos later on have a great day everybody peace out